Hi, good evening. Good evening, this is Thailand Tom. Um, I just so quick to show off about the the idea that built from the base on ESP eighty two sixty six and it has to be in the long term. Well, this is the uh, day many people develop on community for a long time and I didn't have a chance so when I have a chance I like to share in what I did so it's, it's in the picture that you see is the OLED the organic LED which is a screen really bright and with the um, ESP8266 made by some of the startup company but it's already gone but and they, they give me a sample and anyway you can buy from anywhere ESP8266 which is the same pinouts so I just want to show the demo before I go um, around for it and let me plug it in turn it on and see on the screen APIS logo is nice and pretty much you can see here it's kind of tiny and this is a ESP bot which is you know as you can see here let me show you close close by I don't see anyway anyway oh, let me see that's the ESP but this is all LED have give you a lot of the um, the information on the screen and um, you can see I can go closer and, and when you get a package which is this one is um, kind of like um, tracker so you can have the GPS direction and uh, and this is the uh, name of the iGate which is my consign Hotel CR1 in their Fox Tot uniform that 12 and this is a standby screen and when you get a packet they switch off to display on the package this is a very nice and very compact I get which is I used to have the uh, microset this made by the ham in Poland it's cost a lot of money like 100 something but this is cost so cheap you know ESP is like you know how much is this like a 200 bucks 200 baht which is like a ten dollars and the uh, display was uh, not that much and we can use the uh, modem made by I do know you know and the pro mini is a small one single chip and decode pretty good with the in the new I change a little bit technique I'll show you later so um, let me show you on where is uh, our bot look like and um, let me see where is this okay extend screen oh yes extend screen and whoop, ah, okay switch back to here and this is the um, the main of the uh, ESP, and yet you can see um, this is a breakout board, so we can use all kind of stuff like this. And many of the people they install for um, make the uh, what they call it is like a graphic to make it easy for you know people can make DIY without knowing the programming you can do that too kind of cool so let's see this is a schematic just in case you ask well let me minimize on the, uh, the cameras and so I'm gonna put the link on this one 
So I didn't use the modem on this Q9 MDD. I used the um, the, the other guy. And on this one is the ESP. And this is all LED and a bunch of sensor. And you can use temp sensor DHT11 or DME200 for the pressure. And also the RAN sensor. But I didn't use that one either. And I just want to take out the uh, eye gate function only. And you can have, you can hear the beep. This is, uh, we use the, um, you know, the micro computer PC on the main board. They have the uh, small speaker. And this is LDR. You can, you know, for weather station, you can detect the sunlight. Stuff like that. Uh, it's both supply. If it's not that much, you can just use the step down the small single board for 12 won to 5 won. And the trick is, many people don't really know. The Arduino normally we run on 5 won. And the ESP is 3.3. .3. And some of the manufacturing, like, you know, um, let's see, which one? So many of them. Like this one. This one is kind of like for developer, and uh, they have two switch, which is the uh, the blue one is for if you don't push it, it just that's a normal poly position for running. And when you press, and you just download program to this board, and by using the uh, what they call the uh, the flash. You don't need to know the programming. I'll show that detail later, but today just a walk around on this one. And you can use TX, RX, and this is a 5 one as you can see. This is a good to use like the board for USB TTL 5 one And underneath of this board have the uh, regulator for 3.3. So this is a Wii in it's 5 one which is you can connect to other component like you know other modem and this one is 3.3 .3, which is this board running. So this is a walk around then they uh, they design the uh, virtual diagram virtual diagram sorry I pronounced wrong <laughs> American pronunciation and that's the uh, Built in the old LED Wemos. This is what I just bought. Very cheap. This is like very cheap device. Totally is more like less than thirty dollars. You can make the eye kit. And this one also you can connect to PM. They have a bunch of the firmware they made for it. The people who don't want to program or headache about just flash this guy and connect everything is look cool. You know, and this is the one I connect for you right now. I use this uh, pin out for the uh, ESP. Same thing. You can use this one as the eye gate because it have the GPS and you can download for the um, for the firmware for the firmware and uh, you can find it in the website. This one called the site Google dot com slash will slash APIS dash indie and want to see the circuit and firmware you can just go I'm sorry this is in Thai but you can use the Google translation to English see pretty simple now now is um, the world without border you know without the language the uh, you can use international language like English and the credits it go to many people this is already in here I don't need to say anything because they already in the past uh, this guy E27 ASY this is many of the uh, APIS you know, enthusiasm guy and this is how to connect many color you might not need to con 
click on this one and get enlarged because I don't think they are uh, have the bigger picture let me turn off this guy it's so noisy on the, the packet sound the radio which I have to check and this one you can make the indie tracker you know and then you can go down 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 and this is by by all means it's the latest on the uh, firmware for the old ESP that I use right now I am suggest to use 4.2 but the guy will ask me what the hell this is 2.4.2 but where to 4.0 so you can go in here you can have the old uh, document here or you can go to right here or in document and project folder then they bring you to the Google Drive it's a shared drive for public and then you can pick the old firmware or document everything but most of them is developed by the um, the Thai ham you know Thailand we are living in Thailand and uh, they just really exciting on this a few years like I think it start on three four years ago and let's go to this one oh I get and then they go to I get and they have a firmware and also bunch of this guy and if you want to look at the um, English document I sh should have here I don't know why internet so slow so this is how you install they can look into it is a comma and stop blah 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 so I don't want to make a detail on this one yet I will okay and then here's a firmware just go to firmware and when you go to firmware and you can see I use this one picture and then you can pick up the firmware oh yeah this is a folder so this is uh, version 2 this all work but you know they get more feature and I use the uh, V4 which is tons of them they have detail like you plug in OLD LLED or an 4C1B but I using 4.0 and with OLD so this one you can um, connect according to the firmware you can use this one they call ESP8266 fresher so how it look like let me see I don't know how I can find for you now let me see where is this blop, 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 blop. it look like this doot, doot. oh sorry no mm. wait where is that oh I'm so stupid this uh, application here so when you download this is sorry zip file and then you can go here and you can go select the firmware by use the bin and you know bunch of firmware you can select so I use this one let this one and then click open and then you click compot change compot that they already show on the depend on which one you have so, and then you click download and press the button in the bot. Okay, I'm not going to show you now. So let's see what we have right now. Um, I'm going to go back to see the uh, the screen. 
and we are uh, when I oh this is not yet I'll show you oh, sorry um termite where's the termite okay hold on just a minute okay here's a termite set com 24 as we have right now clear this and I'm gonna go to the big screen for the bot so you can see just a minute just a minute side by side for you to get for you guys to see it and this is and I'm gonna start to reset on the uh, um, board. Okay, let's see. Hop, turn it on. As you can see here, the scanner Wi-Fi is like a side scanner, and you can have the send command to TNC, which is I use on the another bot for TNC. And during the time they connected to Wi-Fi, and they're gonna show detail later. Connect to the iGate server, and now I get it's online and now they lock it in use my and the pass key and you know version and then everything come up work now see even they can use this is a plug-in to a uh, serial port surround here you know <clears throat> I'm trying not to be quick but I let you guys watch a little bit detail on this how it go after this guy connected to the Wi-Fi and then you can open the web browser so you can have the uh, the IP right normally the file IP is a 22 but I change this one to 24 and then you can have this one side by side so this is um web browser interface. So they show you the uh, you can click on status and they show the network the file around here which is you can use, you know. It's most as 2G not 5G 2 gigahertz. And the status is I get is on the IP of this hardware is dot one dot twenty four gateway of cost dot one DNS you don't need to set and you have SSID which is my call sign K six six O X it's in US call sign and the server is Asian dot Asian whatever you want to set and uh, you know nearby your area and Wi Fi loss packet loss is one RXTX and this is like um, weather data or something like that and also you can receive from radio frequency or RF which is I test with the two device this is a metal detector EOD unit and uh, this is a weather unit and you know a lot of things and if you want to change it's pretty simple I you know kind of like happy with this guy make it but they don't give us a short code so I cannot do anything and this one you can change here see I get on in terms of you want to set this one as a digi you can do that too you know? and start it forward and you can set the new IP you want or uh, you want to scan the new Wi-Fi you know sorry my bad on this one <laughs> okay let me go up and server and the you know Cosine station, the latitude, longitude, you know, and the command line beacon. 
for now and this is a TNC on this one we set to 9600 you can change if you want to go faster it doesn't matter that's it not that much to set up well you know think about this and I think you should happy let's see This is a tiny and kind of like that's the way it is. Many people think about how to use the put the Raspberry Pi, but I'm not sure the efficiency on this one if you are using to get the general package. But so far, I changed this one. It looks pretty good now for you know, um, for the um. I get to get the data in and I get a lot of things that working you know uh, let me show you the I get so hold on just a minute let me change the software okay this is the I get oh sorry TNC this is a TNC they use by they designed by SQ9 MDD. I don't know what country it is. And let me explain. This is just the same. We use a kiss mode. Kiss mode is what keep it simple and stupid. So this is when you because the kiss mode you can get the command from the I get and the I get will send command to send and PDT and also audio. That is the um, the resistor, like a ladder, to get the AVSK out. This is a volume to get to the microphone, and this is coming in from the speaker of the radio and get into here. So I change. This is a 10k. I change to become only 2k. One day divider, so it worked fine. So this is how you are flashing. You know how the working about that yeah. let me see one more time is uh, something else I can show hmm I don't think I have another oh, this one or oh, you can use this one ESP 86 x 2 6 the old one which is much cheaper and, uh, we have a lot a lot much cheaper So, just about that, you know, um, let me see, let me see, I need to find the, uh, They 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 tie up like um it's developed for a long long time, and I'm pretty sure many people love it and um, you know enjoy about it, and, and uh, I pretty enjoy, you know, and also this is like another one, the I use I use this modem. Let me zoom in a little bit. I use this modem, and I. And this this modem is made by the Bertos. You can Google it. And I use this. This is like uh, what they call this. This is one K, one K. Yes. And this is a uh, decode. This is encoding. And this is uh send it out with the PTT. It's more easy than last picture. Okay. I think is. Oh, okay. Forgot to show you. I just keep explain, but I didn't. I didn't switch the screen on the studio mode. Let me show you the one more time of the uh, schematic.
Oh, oh, not this one. Okay. This is a radio modem that I use. Very simple, straightforward. Okay. Well, before I go, I show you a little bit on the project I'm working on, and you know, um, gonna walk around. So, and this one is what do you call this? This guy is um, the board I have, and uh, you see underneath have the uh, regulator. And this is a lot of thing I used uh, working on. This is a workbench, and I work on the uh, this guy, which is um, I use this for um, weather station. So I connect to the other board, which is I don't have right now. If you go back to scroll down into the my previous video you can see on uh, my weather station use this one this is like a modern so you can swap with the get you know db9 plug it out plug it in good for service pretty easy and this is a modem i use the modem i use to decode and encode for apis And this is a screen, they're much easier. So everything gonna be on the big screen here. Later on, I'm gonna debug a little bit to add on, you know, information to go on this one. And to show you on how to plug it in, how simple is that? We use the radio, and uh, this what you can see. This the old radio, but I can tell you this guy, Yaisu, the best. Or you can use Icom. So good too, you know. This is my previous project on the uh, you know, working on a lot of things. <laughs> okay, wrap it up. And uh, please help me to subscribe and uh, give a thumb up and. Uh, Click on the bell. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. And wonderful day. Before I go, I just let you guys see how it works and how it's uh, performed on this guy. See, it's very really enjoy to watching the uh, on the small tiny screen. I put it up OLED. It used to be very expensive. Now it's so cheap. You know. And the OLED is a multicolor too. And I got this one cheap. And a bunch of these from China. And they send it me like, you know, cost like nothing. But it take forever. Yeah, this, they got the uh, parameter from the weather station that I have. Hotel Shika one in their Fox Tot uniform that 13. That's kind of cool. So, let's see, you know, this is the way it is, people ask me why I listen all the uh, 
package all the time. So I'm not really decoding my head, but I want to see the level of the sound. See? See? Oh, wow, you know, it's kind of cool. Oh, I forgot to show you on the um, airpierce.fi. Uh, I haven't shown you guys yet. Before I go. So this one. See? This is all the detail that show up on the screen. And how about the other one? This is, uh, I just turn it on. This is, um, the, the 13. This is a full function have the sensor of the weather station, you know, and, uh, whatever you have. And you can go to the, uh, uh, weather chart. So you can have graph, you know. I haven't turned on for many days. So it's kind of cool. Oh my god, loading forever. I don't know why it's, uh, network is so slow. Okay. This is the one I just demo for you right now. And uh, 12. And I have the 13 which is already in the box and the uh, ready to go. And, uh, and so many, the, um, let's see the package, the raw package here. I got so many data here that fit into, you know, pretty nice actually. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy. And that's about it. Thank you very much. Okay, 6XOX, and it's just one in the Fox Hot uniform in Thailand okay enjoy bye bye